come out when the game first came out um does crazy amounts of things but you might be wondering to yourself uh lamarzi what's wrong with your tyrell he doesn't have any gear on him <laughs> well don't fret because we're gonna gear him live for you right now um if you're looking at his stats right now this is what my great hall is basically doing for him so this is why the great hall is so important and we know that arena is a complete Crap shoot right now, so hopefully when they fix that, you will be able to get your Great Hall to max in some categories. Um, that helps out a ton for trying to gear your champions. Alright, yeah, so he's completely ungeared. The only mastery is, is what he has here, so that's why he has the extra 5% and 10% accuracy. But we're just going to gear him strictly for dungeons right now. If you'd like to see him in clan boss, uh, you would gear him in lifesteal. And you would just need to gear him for defense, accuracy, speed. And that's strictly what you'd be doing for him. But like I said, we are much better at gearing for dungeons. We know what to do there. So let's get started. We're going to make him hit hard. We're going to start off with his accuracy banner then. Um, what you're going to be looking for on the banner is basically an accuracy banner. And then you want substat rolls of defense percentage and speed. So that is the two most important things, and... Looks like we have a winner. Yeah. It's only four speed, but better than zero. Better than nothing. Um, next, if you're using him in dungeons, I prefer to go crit damage amulet. If you're using him in clan boss and you don't have enough defense, you can also use a defense banner there as well. What you're looking for is something like this, where you have accuracy on the roll as well. Um, Accuracy is really easy to find on amulets. Next step. Yeah, because there's only so much you can roll for an amulet, right? Yeah. Next step is going to be the rings. And we're going to just filter by defense here. And substats, you want defense percentage and you want HP percentage if, pos if possible. So we'll just roll that up to 12 here. All right, so it rolled one defense, one HP. Um, attack does literally nothing for him, so you would have rather flat. A perfect one would have been defense percentage, HP percentage, flat defense, flat HP. But we just pop that on them here. Next up, I usually go chess piece. What about you? Yeah, that's what I would do too. And like we said, if you're doing lifesteal, you're going to toss them in lifesteal chess piece. Uh, for us, we're just basically going to go defense and we're just going to throw the best available one on him which is going to be something with defense crit rate crit damage it's not terrible that's not great either so i'm just looking exactly so something like this that's exactly what i want so it's actually very nice yeah it's a curing piece though so do you want me to just like toss it out <laughs> straight in the bin yeah <laughs> I mean, I'll let you use it this time. This is usually why I roll up all my legendary pieces if they're at least five stars, just to see what sort of stats they get on them. So It's funny, because I'm pretty sure I crapped on that one during a video, that yeah, piece. Yeah, probably. So, this is how important the Great Hall is, is I'm basically at where I need to be with accuracy, and I've literally put two pieces with accuracy on them, both three. So, I know it really sucks for people that are just starting the game, but for people that have been playing a while and have a great hall developed, that just shows you how easy it is to gear now. If not, you'd probably be putting like four pieces of accuracy gear on them. All right, um, we're going to go with crit damage gloves. So there's three stages of gearing someone and early stages, you're gonna probably go defense percentage gloves. Um, after you can get enough defense from other stats, you're going to go crit rate gloves to get 100% crit rate. And after that, once you can get 100% crit rate from all your other gear and enough defense, you go crit damage. Ooh, do you want to put them in savage gear? <laughs> um, I mean, I've never tried it. I wonder what he could, I'm, I'd be curious to see what he could do, but at the same time, I, feel, I don't know. I don't know what my thoughts are, are saying to me right now. <laughs> All right, we'll just put them in crit damage speed gloves then. So we're going to need a lot more accuracy. So basically, when you start out, just look for like your dream piece. Like if you want speed, crit rate, or crit damage, um, just look to see if you have it. 
and then just go through. Yeah, that accuracy is probably one of the best ones there is. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we do need more speed. So I'm going to click off of crit damage right now. And I still don't... Oh, that's why. I was like, I'm sure I have some crit damage. <laughs> and toss defense percentage in there as well. And Ethos is actually wearing my best piece. So we're just going to nab that off of him for now. And again, we're going to look for speed, crit rate, defense. And we'll probably just take that off of Maneater. That's his name, right? Yes, it is. You actually got a name correct. Look yeah, at you. Right. Hmm. So I can either do that one or that one. I'll probably do this one so I can get even faster when I get my speed boots Put on. Your boot. Put your booties on. My little booties. So we're going to probably have to steal boots from someone, but that's fine. Speed boots are honestly the hardest to get. Yeah. Uh, so again, you're going to look for your subsets. Crit Raider is going to be the biggest thing I'm looking for. Uh, if anyone has defense, uh, we could take that off for Maiden because basically they're doing the same job. And he does a better job than she does. There you go. There's the Tyrell completely built. 43k power. Here is his end stats. His defense is a little low. Um, for end game at least. I probably want him closer to 4k. But he is strictly used for dungeons, so having like 30k HP, 3500 defense is still fine. You want him to be the fastest on your team, and he's gonna hit very hard as well. And we haven't even done masteries yet. So for masteries for dungeons. I do something just like this. He is a single target hitter. So he's going to move down the left side of the offense tree here. And then afterwards, you just going to... I was going to say, I guess you're fine for accuracy, but I mean, there's no other path that's really going to help you. <laughs> yeah, not for dungeons. The Lore of Steel. Um, Evil Eye, super good for dungeons. Things like Fire yeah. Knight, things like uh, Spider as well. And then we can just give him an extra chance of extending his AOE or, yeah, just going to go down here. And then we have a couple more that we could put in. Probably just do Heart of Glory for extra damage. And probably World of Wind of Death if he kills anyone, just because you want your AOE debuffer to be going faster than everyone. Yeah. So that's just a, a tree I made now. I don't know if it's 100% like crazy good. You could probably also go into kill streak as well if you're building him strictly for damage. But let's try him out. I'm excited. I'd say, I'd say it looks good anyways. Like I'm pretty sure that's similar to what I use so on mine. This is his final stats now with all his masteries and everything. I'm excited. I've never really built a Tyrell up strictly for dungeons. Who is it that always dies in this? Oh, I, he, he, you were like just about on him too. <laughs> oh, you want him? Oh, no, no, no. I was talking about Tyrell. You like, you were looking for him, your mouse is pretty much on him, and then you went over to filter. Oh, okay. Well, that should be, this should be a decent team then. Uh, so you can throw him in as lead because of his defense ore as well, so he's going to pump up his damage. Your damage is a little low on this one. You think so? Yeah. Because you, you have three supports. That's, that's basically where I'm going with it. Okay, well, we'll see how low it is in but a I mean, second. Grizzly Carl Grizzly might, might Carl, do the job. And he just literally one-shot that man. <laughs> and he was like yeah. at 80% health. Yeah. I'm going to try to slow it down here for the next one. Okay. Boom, boom. 20k A1s. Boom, boom. And unfortunately, it took you. It took you a long time to get a tail rail too. I remember. Uh, it took me about like eight months to get one, and literally like every other person that I was playing with is like, "Oh, I just pulled my first epic. Look at this. It's a uh, tail rail. Is he any good?" I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure I pulled like four before you even pulled your first one. Oh yeah, I know. And uh, yeah, when you build, when you do build one up for clan boss, though, you can make him hit. Like you can make him hit very hard. 
Um, his A3, I've I've hit for like 150k with it with his A3 on Clan Boss, and like his A1s can hit for 50 to 60, depending on what you get him in. That's true. Yeah, especially with weaken and stuff. Yeah. All right, and now we're just gonna skip to the end of the boss and see how well he did. Uh oh. What the fuck? They all had defense down. Oh, I didn't even realize. Yeah, I slowed my Doom Priest up for that nightmare run. So this is what happens when your Doom Priest is only going 170 speed and they do not cleanse the defense down that the enemy puts up. So Tyrell, biggest damage dealer, 2.5 mil. It was a defeat, literally, where you weren't doing enough damage. Can be used for spiders. Gonna see if I can just throw him in as lead here. So, uh, look at the name of the person at the top. <laughs> Way to get us demonetized. Wait, who did I take out of this? Uh, you took out a spider. Ah, uh, okay. So what he does well on the spider is his preemptive strike. So he does lower the cooldown drastically. So that's always good news when you're facing the spider. Did your cola just get resisted? No. She didn't decrease his turn meter. I'm pretty sure she did. Check the tape. Everyone, play it back. Yeah, roll it back. And if I'm wrong, I'm just going to edit it out. And if I'm right, I'm going to do a big, like, circle arrow around it. <laughs> it's the, uh... Still don't know if um, Miss Created has gloves on or not. Did you not fix him? I don't know. I know I've I've geared and regeared and ungeared so many people in the last little while. I've completely lost track. That's fair. All right, and should be done very soon here. Yeah. So basically, Tyrell adds <clears throat> Tyrell adds that little extra turn meter reduction for your team. Helps out a ton. And he also provides an AoE defense down as well. Um, I probably didn't even need to have Stagnite in there because... Yeah, your, your stag is actually, was actually tanking the crap. Out of, oh, he had a... What do you call it on, didn't he? Yes. Ally Protect. So, literally did 2 million damage. Did, most, did more than the other two basically support hybrid AoE attackers. I feel like I want to re -gear, gear my miscreated monster. That's something we haven't done a guide on either. So just going one time speed here. Boom. 12Ks without defense down. And then Royal Guard does what he does best is smack just people. Finesse on them. Is that something the kids say these days? That's what I say. <laughs> I've got to finesse on them. Never heard anyone say that. No, just... next time he does this, next time he does this, what do you call it? Uh, his smash, just watch him in one, one times. It's hilarious. It's, who's smash? Uh, Royal Guards. Oh. Yeah, he does like a 360 in the air type deal. Don't you hate it when you fight in your own team, basically? I do hate that. Like, how are you allowed to be on this team? Oops, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> you copied my team. Yeah, seriously. Only one Tyrell allowed. You should do that. Do a do a double horde and cross. Uh, is who is it? Crossbow man is that or is that is that literally someone's name? Is just crossbow man? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> or um, grandmaster is that the the grandpa dude? I guess so. I know Clarky Ba uses him as his avatar. Yes, that guy. Yeah, well, he's dead now, so it won't be that good. And I don't think I have two hordens. Time to get you a second Horden. Yeah. So uh, he doesn't do anything really on the boss besides putting his AoE defense down. So it's good when you build him for damage because he can still hit like for 70k. And then Royal Guard just hits for 500k. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Bro, good. Royal Guard just walks in and he goes, I'll show you how it's done. Yeah, really? Smash. I mean, I'm... This is kind of a free-to-play build, except Tyrell, probably. Sorry, not Tyrell. Royal Guard. 
And he does slightly less than Frozen Banshee, but she does all her damage on the boss. And her poison ticks do a crap ton. Yeah, well, on the boss. Yeah. She doesn't do anything up until that point. She, she kind of just like tickles tickles their underarms and the waves. I thought you were going to say something else. Nope. I have no idea what you're even talking about. Um, Let's throw him in here now. Right at the front. I was thinking of uh, building on my Rick off the Bold for Fire Knight. Um, giving, it a, giving it a whirl. See how we can do. I was watching Manable's stream. No, I was watching Wanted Mess's stream, and I'm pretty sure Manable or Boomer were talking about how Rick off is used in like speed runs for Fire Knight. Yeah, because he's he's a positive affinity plus. He can crit up to like four hundred percent with poisons on. Yeah. So I mean that damage is gonna be freaking huge. Plus you have B E K. Yeah, I got well, I mean B E K isn't anything special for Fire Knight, but I guess I guess as soon as he gets the poisons on he is. Yeah. I didn't even realize we were at the boss already. So what would the team be then? Would it be Beck, Double Cold Heart, Rick Toff, and then like couldn't even tell you. They're, they, I don't know. If you're ever like super, super end game, they're the ones that you need to talk to. They're the guys that spend a couple nickels on the game if you'd had to ask me. Yeah, just some coffee change? Yeah. Like you, they buy a Starbucks every week, is what I'm saying. <laughs> they splurge sometimes. Yeah. We almost. Uh, yeah. Everyone just use your abilities now. Do it. Yeah, well, that's where Royal Guard comes in handy on actual magic. Yeah. All right, let's uh, finish this up here. Don't have all day. <laughs> let's go, boys and girls. Uh, nope. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, guys, like I'll just <laughs> let me just finish this for you guys. Uh, yeah. yeah, still does decent amount of damage. Almost did more than Cold Heart, which is pretty decent. When I when I think of Tyrell, sometimes I just think that they they just kind of put his multipliers too high and then just never changed it. Think so? Yeah, because like for all the other decreased defense people, like their abilities don't hit hard. His hits like an absolute truck. Yeah. I'm going to have to do a weird team right now because Ethos isn't geared. I was going to say, you're not going to put Tyrell in the Tyrell guide video? <laughs> I mean, I have done that a couple times. So he, he pairs super well with someone like Seafy, like if you have her, like just by chance. But um, yeah, we're going to see how well he hits against other people. He literally killed Moshalad. And why is my Moshalad not going? So he had like 200 plus speed. Uh, that's because he's dead. Oh, well, that that explains it then. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Where would I be without you? All right. Well, it looks like this is going to be a loss. Oh, weak. He <laughs> weak, son. Okay, we're going to kill you. Boom, 70k. I was going to say, you have to, you have to pray to God he dies. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you, you don't want to stun him. <laughs> yeah, that would have actually have been terrible. Uh, we're going to try to kill you here. No, no crits. Yeah, at least Leech was only up on one person. Yeah, you got to turn this to two times. Drive me crazy. Two times speed. Uh, we're going to kill, kill right. you. Murder. Murder, 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 kill, kill, kill. Zeph's side, represent. You know, I don't know what that was. That was a uh, Diane word. Oh god, I haven't listened to Diane word in forever. Uh, literally, we were playing it on Corbett's stream. Remember when we were song? Yeah, like, yeah, like forever ago. Yeah. I do remember that. So literally, he was the nuker on the team. He was the defense down on the team. <laughs> Ma Mashala did nothing there. No. See if we can get him against that team is going to be super annoying without a block revive. So let's give it a try. Um, that team's going to be super annoying in general. Yeah. That's meant to not die. I mean, it's like 
It's like a B tier version of ones. I've seen teams a lot tougher than this for not dying. Because once I get this up, their team's going to be... That, ma that mausoleum mage is stacked. Yeah. Okay. But now they can't revive yet, so... And then once you take her out, it's just... Um... Yeah. A lot easier once you take her out. I feel like we should make a video on who to target in Arena. Ooh, that didn't crit. I forgot he's not 100% crit rate. So that was actually fortunate that his fear was on Sill, because if not, his A1 would have just attacked Mr. Tormin. Yeah. That's not what you want. Okay, he's done. He's back up. He's down. He's back up. I hate Tormund so much. Yeah. Like, I really wish I had started playing this game right when it came out. I feel like... Yeah. I remember I had just joined the joined the clan, and one of the guys in the clan fused him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then I was like, who's this? Wow. Just yeah. pretty much one-shot the Mazo Mage. Yeah, I, I didn't even understand fusions at all when I first started playing. No, me neither. And we'll go against this guy. He might be faster than me, though. Feels bad. You know what feels bad is, why does everyone else's... Um, Madam Cerise actually use their defense down and stuff, and mine doesn't. That's what feels bad, man. I don't know. I don't know how that works, to be honest. Oh, you just lost your ability. Yeah, I lost my ability to kill people. I knew this was going to be a hard fight, and I just wanted to test it out. Uh, Dark Elaine actually drives me crazy. Does she? Yeah, because she got released pretty much just before I got Gurgo, and then she's a, like pretty much a direct Gurgo counter. Yeah, but I mean, I'm <laughs> sure they weren't thinking of Gurgo when they thought, hey, Dark no, Elaine. No, it was definitely a Torment thing, but I mean, it was just bad a bad time for me to get a, a Freeze Champ. Yeah, I actually want Tail to die here, thank you. Hmm, gonna do this first. Damn it. Damn it. They have block up, so I'm gonna take him up. And then everyone dies again. <laughs> this might take a while. Yeah, this team is very annoying. Yeah, I figured they'd be. Yeah, that's done. All right, I had a chance there, but true fear cost me the game. All right, guys. Well, this has been our Tay Well get Tay Well, <laughs> the newest champ Tay Well. Instead, instead of Dark Tay Well, they do talk Tay Well. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this content, toss us a like, and if you want to see more, toss us a sub.